Hi. Hi. A lot of you are probably wondering, why in the hell do I keep on attacking Islam? You know, nothing's ever going to come about from it. Just wasting my time. You know, eventually everyone's going to have their patootie in the air or paying jizzy tax or getting killed for not paying jizzy tax for not having your patootie in the air on a prayer rug. It's in vain. Nothing, nothing's going to come about and just oh just wasting my time and what uh, youth I still have but you know I think of it this way to me Islam is like a big giant scary tree in my backyard and people are forced to worship it or pay a jizzy tax 29 29 or be killed and um, every day I just go out and with my axe I just take one blow of my hammer you know, I not my hammer but uh, an axe yeah axe and that tree Islam is so big and powerful I don't even leave a mark on it you know, that's how I see it. I don't even leave a mark on it. And I can only do one whack at that a day. And so the, heal, the tree heals up the next day. Which makes it pretty in vain, if you think about it. But, I have a feeling that maybe someone brave enough, you know, will think, you know, that looks kind of fun. And he might take an axe that big scary tree and take a whack at it you know and go sneaking back to his place you know before he gets caught and has to get his head sawed off to chance of a aloha snack bar and others might come by too and go hmm, that looked like fun too and they start whacking at it and then when we all take a whack at it you know day in day out just one little whack you know mothers might join in and then finally a few years down the line there's a little mark in that big scary tree's bark and it's become weakened from constantly trying to heal itself and then it becomes more weak as the years go by until finally there's like a dent in it you know and I highly doubt highly doubt they'll ever live to see a big hole in it and I really highly ever doubt they'll see the thing you know, rocking back and forth and tilting due to a lack of bark. But my hope is that eventually, if more people join me, and just taking like one whack of that tree once a day, it will, through the, de through the decades down the line, it'll actually start tilting and tipping and it'll fall down and then no one will have their heads sawed off. No more g women will be raped and due to the first part of Quran 424 until it's reported handed down in Sunni Abu Dawud to 2050 and Sahih Muslim 834-32. And no more people will be, you know, killed due to Quran 9, 111, 30, 39 that threaten Muslims with a painful doom if they don't, you know, join ISIS and stuff like that. And, hey, that big scary tree just might tip over and crash and then no more evil Islam. I don't see it happening in my lifetime. And I don't see what I'm doing. It really does seem like it's a, a, a hobby that's in vain. But, you know, if you don't whack at it, who's going to whack at it? You know? So... That's my hobby. Going out there every day, every you know, just taking one little whack at it. And maybe others will join me. And together we'll get that big scary tree that everyone's forced to worship to fall over. So bye.